Hey, this is Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokes Two Channel. Just messing around. <clears throat> hey, I want to share an exercise today for really good right hand development. Um, <clears throat> repetition is the mother of mastery, and sometimes taking it in small chunks can be very, very helpful. So, you know, I'm in dad gad right now because I've been doing a lot of stuff like. I love Dad Gad, and this is a Yamaha made in Japan FG 180, which sounds unfucking believable. Excuse my French. Anyway, here, here's the exercise. Now, I like to use a lot of open strings. <laughs> okay, so what you're doing is the first time you're doing like one section of this, then the next time you do two, next time three. But anyway, the idea, and also do the accent on the first note of those three notes. So in other words, you're going like, uh, get up, bam. I know this guitar has a slight buzz. It kind of reminds me of a flamenco type setup or something, but um, I really love this guitar. I really do. But that's the exercise. Really good for right hand development. It's that repetition. Sometimes I'll move around the fretboard like. So you hear the accent? Bam. So that's a simple exercise, exercise, but if you do that for an hour or two a day, like I do, even just an hour a day, you're going to get your right, your right hands really going to wake up and you'll be, you'll be playing and all of a sudden you'll start doing some like impossible things. Not that it's all about technique, but the technique is a tool that we can use when we need it to be musical. So you have to work on it. So again, one more, and I, I just love dad, again. like I said, I, I've been getting into this. Let's see. Just kind of a style type thing. But anyway, one more time this exercise. And I think it just sounds cool to kind of strum the, all the strings to get the, that resonance. Now, the other thing I'll do sometimes is I'll do some of those as pull-offs just to kind of teach my my brain and my fingers and my musical ear how to create a different kind of a sound. So, you know, I'll do a little bit of a pull-off. But again, the exercise is simple, and you can you can move all over the guitar with three those with notes, you know. But it's that. Don't worry about how fast you play each section. If you, if you want to play one part a little, I know people always say when you're doing scales, you should be with a metronome, and that is a valid thing to do. But it's also valid to let your technique kind of flutter as you, as you begin to open up your vessels and capillaries and get the muscles trained and everything. Sometimes I'll do that exercise and I'll just like peel off a certain section a lot faster, and that's okay. <laughs> up right now so I'm not going to try to do it fast. You don't need to do it fast. If you do it slow and clean you'll get a lot more results. Okay so enjoy that and yeah I love I just love dad get I love all the different things.
actually missing a finger fingernail right now, so it's a little harder to play with finger style. But enjoy. Take care. Have a good day. Stay positive.